we are dying literally because we are so sedentary. So, so sitting in our chair and not getting out and moving. Originating from deep inside the Rocky Mountains, transported through the power of the internet, and arriving inside your tiny earbuds, it's the Appraiser Coach Podcast. Minisode. 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 Welcome, my friends. Welcome to another Minisode. Dustin Harris hanging out with you. I usually say in the podcast chair, but uh, there's no chair behind me. Um, you might notice that I'm kind of bouncing up and down as I uh, as I talk here today. Um, new change, a little bit of a change in my life is uh, trying to be a little more active while I am at work. And I talked to you about that and uh, some results that I've already seen as a consequence. Um, but first, I want to remind you that we're sponsored by a great, great uh, technology out there called Synapse. Synapse, of course, is the ability to be able to support your adjustments. Check them out by going to spark4appraisers.com. Again, it is spark4appraisers.com. Well, as I talk to you folks, uh, I'm, I'm kind of moving around a little bit. You might even kind of hear the steps in the background. Uh, if you're on the podcast, you won't be able to see, but if you are on YouTube, you should be able to see a little different setup than uh, we've had in the past. Uh, and that is because my wife gifted me a walking desk for Father's Day. Um, I know. I think she's giving me a hint. Actually, it's more than a hint. Um, I've uh, it's no it's no it's no secret, folks. Uh, I've become a little more sedentary uh, over the last little while. I've had some changes in my life. I'm not out and about as often as I have been in the past, and as a consequence, let's just say that I'm not as fit and good looking as I used to be. Um, and uh, I've been on a a bit of a diet lately. I haven't said anything on air because I, I I didn't want to jinx myself, but uh, I've already seen some success. I've lost about twenty pounds over the last couple of months, and um, kind of got to a plateau. And I think that plateau was more about uh, lack of exercise than anything else. Um, and uh, my wife and I, 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 you know, I throw my wife under the bus, but but really, you know, this is something that we talked about. <laughs> she didn't just gift me a, a a walking desk and say, uh, Dustin, I, I, I can see you're getting a little flabby and it's it's time to uh, it's time to get moving again. Um, but uh, um, she did uh, after a conversation, uh, she was very kind and generous uh, to gift me uh, this this walking desk. Now, let me stop first of all and describe what this is. For those of you who don't know what a walking desk is, um, I think that maybe I can I can pan down here. Uh, so for those of you who are on uh, who are on YouTube, uh, maybe you'll be able to see this. I don't know. I've never done this before, but let's let's see if it works. So I'm just going to pan. There we go. You can see it now. You can also see what a mess my uh, my office is. Um, you can see me walking on the walking desk, and and basically what it is is a treadmill underneath my standing desk, right? So I've had a standing desk for a while. I, I I've not been using it as 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 often as I should. Um, but I do I do use it once in a while. And uh, uh, the difference, of course, between standing at a desk, which I think is also good for you, um, and walking on a treadmill underneath your desk is obvious, to, I think, to everybody. The, the idea of a walking desk is simply, obviously, to, to get the blood flowing and to, and to be moving and to at least get a little exercise that you wouldn't get otherwise, folks. We as appraisers spend a lot of time at our desks, right? Now, most of us are out and about doing inspections, and so we get a little bit of exercise every day or every other day, however your schedule works out. But let's face it, many of us sit at our desks for very long periods of time. And as a consequence, we don't get the exercise that we all need. Now, I'm not going to today go, in, go into the science behind exercise behind getting the blood flowing behind movement and that kind of thing. Obviously, this is not the same as muscle resistance. I know some of you are really into fitness and you're like, Dustin, if you really think that's going to make a difference to uh, to that belly of yours, 
then you need to talk to me. I get it, folks. I get it. But it is something new. It is something different. It is something that is, is beneficial. Now, some of you would question, say, well, Dustin, why... I get the whole walking desk things, but why would you do that on the podcast? Why would you do that as you're recording your videos of, of uh, whatever it is that spews out of your mouth? What I want to share with you after the break, and maybe a little bit of encouragement for everyone else as well, because of the learning curve that I went through, is why I do this on camera and why you're going to see this more often. But first, I hope that you see more often the, well, the importance of supporting your adjustments, right? Are you supporting your adjustments? Are you doing what you need to do to make sure that when you turn that report in, that that report is fully supported? That when you choose $47 a square foot for your adjustment, that when you choose to adjust $3,000 per acre for the difference between the subject and the comps, that you actually have a rationale that you can point to, whether it be a revision request, whether it be a state board investigation, whether it be a, a client a question, or whether it just be a good report to begin with so you don't get those questions. Are you supporting your adjustments? Well, folks, with Synapse, it is easy. Brandon and Kyle over at, at, at Spark for Appraisers have made it easy for you to support your adjustments. You need to be doing so. Go to Spark, F-O-R, appraisers.com, Spark for appraisers.com. All right, folks, welcome back to the program. You might hear my walking desk a little bit. It's pretty quiet, um, and and I, I tend to walk without shoes on, as you could see on the camera uh, before. Uh, it's fairly soft a platform, um, and uh, and I just feel it's. I actually just think it, it's a little bit noisy with my shoes. I actually find it more comfortable. Um, I, I actually believe it or not, a dirty little secret. Um, I I don't wear shoes a lot in the office anyway. I often take them off at the door or at home or what have you. I I kind of like uh, the 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 feel of not having shoes on my feet. So uh, it just was kind of natural to to walk on the desk uh, to walk on the uh, treadmill rather <laughs> walk on the desk yeah walk on the treadmill uh, without that as well. But folks, here's the thing. So when I first got this, I set it up and and my first thought was, am I going to be able to move this thing out of the way when I need to? So if I if I go if I shoot over to this camera, you you'll probably see just just the arm and the back of my chair that's kind of pushed over into the corner there. Okay. So you can see that there. And so my thought was, you know, I'm not going to want to walk all the time, right? There's sometimes that I'm in the office six, eight hours at a time. And, and, you know, heaven forbid that I, that I stand for that whole time or that I walk for that whole time. And so I set it up in such a way that I felt like it would be easy to move. So if I, if I go back over to this camera again, and I pan down, um, you're going to see, there we go. If I pan down, you're going to see that this is, you know, it weighs about 50 pounds. Um, and I could take it and I could move it out of the way. I could lean it up against the desk. I could, you know, lean it over over against the wall. I could do whatever I needed to do there. Um, but here's the thing, folks. Um, I realized very quickly that it would be it would be very difficult to do that. Okay. It's it's not an easy task uh to move that walking desk. And so Here's the deal. As a consequence, I found that I it was more effort to to move it than it was to just stay on it. So then I thought, well, you know what? When I am uh, when I am working, this is what I'm going to do. So I just hit the off button. Now I'm standing, um, and uh, and maybe it's a little bit more clear on the microphone, right? You won't hear that uh, that motor, the background noise. It's pretty quiet, but I think you can you can pick it up uh, once in a while. So I thought that I would stand whenever I did meetings, whenever I did videos, whenever I did any of that. And here's the thing, folks, I found I found that I was doing meetings and videos and things all of the time. And so consequently, I found that about maybe 20 percent of the day I wasn't on a meeting or I wasn't uh, recording podcast or, or, or in a coaching session or, or what have you. I wasn't getting a lot of use out of the walking desk. And so I made a, a crazy decision to say, you know what, I don't care who I'm talking to, I don't care who I'm interviewing, I don't care who sees me on video, um, I'm just going to, I'm, gonna, I'm either going to commit to this thing or I'm not, okay? And as a consequence, I, uh, I jumped in with both feet, no pun intended, and decided to, uh, to walk during my 
podcast, during my uh, monthly meetings with the coach, during my uh, coaching sessions, doing during uh, my staff meetings, during you know anything that uh, that that requires me to be on camera, uh, I just decided you know what screw it. If people think I'm weird, they think I'm weird, uh, but I need the exercise right now. Here's the consequence. Here's what's happened. Um, I mentioned I was kind of on a little bit of a diet, and and uh, and the diet's nothing special. Okay, it's very simple. It's called count your calories. Right, it's called expend more calories during the day than you uh, than you eat, um, and uh, it's 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 a matter of keeping track. I figure, you know what, I I know enough about my finances that I keep track of of my P and Ls. Right, a diet is just a P and L. Right, it's a profit and loss when it comes to uh, when it comes to calories. Okay, and I know there's science behind macros and proteins, all this stuff. Right, I get all of that, folks. I don't understand it fully, but I get there. There's more to it than that, right? There's more of a science out there that I'm I'm willing at this point to even dive into. But I know about how much I expend in calories every day, and I know about how much I eat in calories every day. So I just started tracking, and it's amazing when you start to track and keep track and start to keep records how uh, how it changes your lifestyle. And as a consequence, I left about I uh, lost about uh, 20 pounds. Um, but uh, but then I started the plateau. And so I started to uh, to do the walking desk on a regular basis, and uh, uh, I can tell you, folks, that my plateau uh, was no longer a plateau. Uh, that I started to lose more weight again, and I've been losing a couple pounds a, a week, and it's been great. It really has. I feel better every day. My legs are exhausted. The other day, I kid you not, I was here long hours, um, and I got four point eight miles. 4.8, almost five miles on the treadmill that day, folks. That's pretty crazy, right? To walk almost five miles while I'm working. I didn't do anything differently. Now, I will tell you, those of you who are considering a walking desk, okay? First of all, obviously, you've got to have a standing desk, okay? That's obvious. Um, but here's the other thing that I would I would recommend. And it's a it's an ergonomic keyboard. You can see that on the camera, how it kind of is uh, is bent in the middle, right? So it allows me... To normally, you know, when you're typing, you're 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 like this, and and that kind of uh, that kind of drives carpal tunnel, right? Because you're kind of you kind of have to unnaturally twist your hands, and it's ten times worse, at least in my opinion, in my case, it's about ten times worse when you're standing for some reason. Even though the desk is about the same level of where my hands come down, uh, it just doesn't fit very uh, very well, and as a consequence, I was getting very tired in my wrists, and so I decided to get a different keyboard. Uh, and it has made a big difference, right? Now I can naturally put my hands down to where they naturally fall. And as a consequence, it takes a little getting used to, but as a consequence, I don't have the problems uh, that I had before, folks. So if you see me in the future on the walking desk, you'll understand the rationale. Uh, if you don't see me in about six months on the walking desk, you, you'll uh, you'll also understand that I gave up, but I hope I didn't. Uh, I hope I don't. I hope uh, down the road, I'm still continuing to exercise, to get my blood moving, to 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 build up the muscles, um, to to you know, one of the reasons I'm doing this is not just to get myself moving, and although that's the main driver, is that I hike a lot with my sons, right, uh, and 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 when my daughter's around as well, she's just not around. But um, um, when my sons and I get out in the fall, we hike up and down mountains a lot, and I wanted to make sure that I was fit and able to do that. Last fall was a little tough for dad. Uh, dad, uh, dad had some extra weight and dad uh, was not exercising regularly. And uh, I was huffing and puffing on those hills. And I want to make sure uh, that I can be out and enjoy time with my kids. Now, what does all this have to do with appraisal? Well, you know, I'm going to bring it home, right? Here we go. Folks, appraisers, get out of your appraiser caves, get out and about. By the way, I, I will tell you this. I at least daily get out in the sunshine. I at least daily walk to wherever I'm going to eat, or I walk with a friend, or I just get out and walk. My office happens to be just a stone's throw from the uh, what they call the Green Belt in uh, Idaho Falls, which goes around the actual falls, what Idaho Falls is named for, the the, the falls of the Snake River. And uh, and I get out there, and, I, and I, uh, I'm out in the sunshine at least daily, right? But at the very least, folks, and this is serious, I'm going to be dead serious here, folks, too many of us are dying, literally, that is not a, a euphemism. We are dying literally because we are so sedentary, so, so sitting in our chair and not getting out and moving. Assess your life, 
what is important to you? What are you doing to get active? Get active, whatever that means. Bicycle, swimming, hiking, um, whatever. Okay, croqueting really fast, I don't know. Do something to make sure that you are moving. Thank you for joining me today, folks. It's been a pleasure, I love you all, uh, and uh, go create some value. You've been listening to the Appraiser Coach Podcast with Dustin Harris. If you like what you hear, please give us a five-star rating and post a short review on iTunes. For more in-depth insider information on how you can make more money as a real estate appraiser, visit theappraisercoach.com and sign up for the All-Star Team today. Thanks for joining us. And now, get out there and create some value.